Only in the game just to get my fatty. And need lazy, ain't got competition. It's me versus me, love key top game. Anyways, so Trash Talking Charles has went to the internet and he kind of broke down. Uh, now, we know, of course, whenever Charles Talking Charles, when he, when he gets on the internet, he playing around a lot, going to people a lot. But we also do know behind all of the jokes and funny games and talking about people and, and Ben Trash Talking Charles, that behind all that, it is a person that actually cares about the black community, even though some of y'all may say, no, he don't actually care about the black community. The fact of the matter is he got the documentation to prove that he does. He's got the works. If you live inside of Texas, even Fort Worth, Texas, you do understand that he has done a lot to actually give back to the community and probably still do stuff for the youth within the community. Not the old people. He goes after the youth to try to help out the youth, right? So behind all that, that's what we see, or that's what it actually is, like in actual real life. But anyways, Trash Talking Charles said he met somebody who he's actually done interviews about, of course, which is Pooh Shiesty's mama. Uh, and he's had words about Pooh Shiesty in the past as well, just like he's had words about about almost every other rapper in the past but this time it was a little different because he said whenever he goes to meet people in person he actually let them know hey listen man i'm just playing online that's just a character that i play but this is how i really am and he always says when i meet people in person or especially a black woman in person i'm a complete gentleman right so this time he says that he was actually with i believe eminem's manager you know to my uh well a guy that was very instrumental and in not only eminem a white guy that was instrumental in not only his Eminem's career, some two, two, two chains career, a whole lot of artist careers, right? So he's just a, a pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful guy, right? Anyways, what well, trash talking Charles pretty much said he was at an event he saw Pooh Shiesty's mama so they you know they began to talk with each other and as they began to talk to each other he said he wanted to let her know hey listen all that stuff online don't worry about that that's just jokes it's just games you know what I'm talking about but this is who I really am but as he began to introduce Pooh Shiesty's mama to the the uh you know the affluent uh, white guy that he was with that's actually in the music industry that's helped out a whole lot of artists that's about business really much right you know you got to have a way where you can cut on the ghettoness and cut off the ghettoness well he said he was absolutely disgusted with Pooh Shiesty Mama he said once he introduced her to the guy she shook the guy's hand and she said mob ties you know what I'm talking about and he said at that very moment he knew that this was probably a disgusting person that, you know, has no type of, of actual humanistic morals. Um, and, well, even before he got to that point, he said that there was a group of people, a group of black fellas that actually walked up to him, uh, fanned out about him, wanted to meet him, so they interrupted his conversation, which put a bad taste in his mouth. He's like, hey, listen, black fellas, I love y'all. You know what I'm talking about? But I'm talking to this lady right now, and y'all kind of interrupting what I got going on while I'm talking to Pooh Shiesty's mama. This is Pooh Shiesty's mama right here and and of course after that that's when he introduced Pooh Shiesty's mama to um I guess Eminem's manager or whatever like that and she said the mob ties well he completely went off he said that you know the, she is the actual reason that that Pooh Shiesty is going to be in a position that he's in because his father's a no good and his mother is the same way he was pretty much saying like hey listen man the fathers the black fathers have already been taken out the homes have already been indoctrinated with the streets and the street codes and the street morals with which everybody knows the street mode, street code, street morals is going to lead to death or in jail. 100%, it ain't no other ways. Death or in jail, the longer you're in it, the higher your chances go of being death or in jail. That's why most people in the streets have been to death or in jail. Unfortunately, the, the youth of the black community, they look at it as like uh, rewards. You know what I mean? They look at going to jail as rewards. They look at, at, at getting felonies at a young age as rewards. But of course, as you get older, it kind of affects you. Not kind of, it does affect you because then you can't get certain jobs. You know what I'm talking about? You got to go back to doing the same stuff in the streets that you was doing that originally got you locked up and more than likely you end back up inside of jail again and that's pretty much how the cycle goes right anyways what well, trash talking charles said he never wants to meet Pooh Shiesty's mom again because he's utterly disgusted. He said uh, Eminem's manager that he was with is completely disgusted as well. And actually, he wanted to say somebody, you know, the manager got kind of held his words in because he's looking at it like, listen, man, the black fathers are already gone. And now look what's happening to the black mothers. It's like the, the it, it's, it's worse. We can't lose y'all. We already lost the fathers. We don't need to lose y'all. And pretty much he was just saying that his son would never in life do anything like be uh in the streets or nothing like that at all or end up in prison for doing anything just like stupid right now 
And I guess what the main question comes down to is what I have for y'all. Um, do y'all think that black culture, which of course black culture is not street culture. Street culture is just a part of black culture that has kind of dominated it because a, a portion of the black community is super deep into the street culture. And also everything that we see from listening to the music to everything else is all about the street culture. And it's about that particular aspect in the black culture that also, you know, what that does is it makes those, the youth that's easily influenced by all that stuff want to be a part of it. Right. So it kind of comes off as if the entire black community is like that. Now I will say it does put a big old mind trick on the black community because whenever you see black people that ain't a part of the street life or ain't a part of the street culture some people look at them as lame some people look at them as as just a lot of negative stuff when in actuality they t they typically end up being the ones that's successful later on in life uh they typically end up being the ones that that, that you know that that go on to have good families and teach a family stuff and, and not a lot of getting locked up and a lot of struggle. And, and I'm not saying that the people that go through that stuff are bad people because a lot of them is circumstantial, right? It's a lot of, of what you've been around when you grow up, what you've been around, what you've been taught, what's been instilled into y'all or into the, you know, that particular uh, mesh of people. But that's why he said, it's the parents fault it's not so much the kids fault it's the parents fault because how do y'all see the kids acting and how y'all see the young black males acting is because of the parents right is the parent whatever the parents whatever they how they are they instill those seeds inside the kids and that's why he said poo shice he got no chance in life um that's why he ends up in jail that's why he's acting where he is like i say because of his you know his mom and also his dad so you know uh with that being said how do y'all feel about it man do y'all I feel like he kind of went a little too far uh pretty much coming online saying that you know he was disgusted with Pooh Shiesty's mama uh that you know pretty much there's no hope for Pooh Shiesty or his lineage at all because of how his mama acts or do y'all feel like well she kind of did act a little gangster look 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 ghetto gangster you know somebody especially when it, it ain't even a format or the the, the the place to be acting like that right so let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about his entire deal I'm out.